What's up guys? So today I'm just going to show you how to bench sink carburetors without any special tools. So I'm not going to be using kerosene or fuel today. I'm just going to use some water. And these are the carbs right here. If you want to start off by just taking off diaphragms, your boots, your airbox, thingamajiggy madig, and your float rolls. So all that we need is just the idle cable. So I'm just going to go through the basics of what these three screws do. They're the butterfly sink valve. They'll sync up these valves to open and close at different times, which you want them to all open up at the same time. So the screw in between these two adjusts these two, like open, close, open, close. So you want them even so at the same point, so they open and close at the same time. And then these two open and close at the same time. And then the middle one adjusts the two halves, which open and close at the same time. You don't want it to be adjusted that one's a bit opened, so then they open and close separately because this one's gonna close and this one isn't. And it's gonna run into cylinders most likely. Um, yeah, so let's get started. So, what I do is you wanna start with a bit of water, I've purposely unsync them and you can see straight away that one's going down and this one's still staying that means this one's slightly opened and this one's closed so you want to turn this screw anti-clockwise which will close this one up and open this one up so at the moment it's like this one's open this one's closed so what you want to do is turn the screw until both are even so let's just start by doing that. You can still see it's opened. And this is without the throttle open, so I've purposely done this. So you want to keep trying. And now you can see they're both pretty much the same. So what you want to do is turn the idle just a little bit until one of them starts flowing and you can already see this one's draining this one's still the same so we gotta keep turning this anti-clockwise now take out the idle fill that up again and and in the idle and now they're pretty much draining about the same and that was almost perfect so what you want to do is sync these two sync these two together and then sync these two so we'll go over these ones here I'm gonna close the idle first So I recommend doing this after doing a quick clean on the carburetors as well. Um, that would be the best. And now I've already synced these carbs before so they should be okay. So they're going on the same rate. They're going down, they're drained. So you see like once the end bit you can see it all just completely drain and you want them to drain out at the same time. So for the middle one, they're adjusting these two. So you can ideally just tune these two together and it'll tune all of them. So top these up. And then open out the idle. And they should pretty much flow the same rate. So at the end you just want to fill them all up. Just to make sure you've done a good job. And open out the idle. And you should see them all draining together. So once you're done, you just want to get on with your basic carburetor cleaning. 